step we'll install the Pelton runner onto the front of the shaft using the bolt, the packing washers and the flange washers that you removed off the bearing assembly and block when you first stripped it down. So I'll take off the packing washers that come supplied. Then I'll remove one of the large flange washers off that bolt. Put that down. And I'll pick up the Pelton runner, making sure the orientation is correct. Looking at the jets, the Pelton runner should turn in a clockwise fashion. I've got it like that. So I'll put the bolt and the one flange washer in, in place. And I'll turn that around. I'll pick up the other flange washer and put that on, as well as the supplied packing washers. I take the Pelton runner and the bolt. I place it over the end of the shaft. With my left hand, I'm reaching around to hold the back of the shaft. And I turn the shaft and the bolt till the threads engage. And I hand tighten as much as I can. To fully tighten that bolt, in my case I'm using a, a 19 mil or a 3 quarter inch ratchet. You could use a spanner. And I'll tighten that up. In the manual it says tighten this to 50 newton meters. If you haven't got a torque wrench, this can be very tight. And that's that.